Hi, I'm Amanda Rowan, founder and head coach at the Therapist Development Center. If you're a first time viewer and looking to pass your social work or MFT licensing exam, or just interested in topics relevant to clinical social work and psychotherapy, you've come to the right place. If you like it, be sure to subscribe for updates. You can also sign up for our complete LMSW, LCSW, and MFT exam prep programs by going to our website at therapistdevelopmentcenter.com or clicking on our logo. Thanks. Today's topic, negative reinforcement examples for ASWB exams. Negative reinforcement and positive reinforcement are two concepts from behavioral therapy that are likely to show up on the ASWB's exam, both the LMSW and LCSW exams. While we previously wrote a blog with a practice question and rationale on this topic, today we want to take a few moments to hone in specifically on negative reinforcement examples, as this is one of the most misunderstood behavioral principles. Reinforcement. In operant conditioning, the word reinforcement refers to strengthening or increasing a desired behavior. So if you want a child to complete his chores, do his homework, etc., I can reinforce these behaviors to increase the likelihood of getting the, the desired behavior. When it comes to reinforcement, one of the most important things to remember is that positive does not mean good and negative does not mean bad. Positive refers to adding something. Think of a plus sign to increase a behavior. Negative refers to removing something, like a minus sign, also to increase the behavior. So what are our key points so far? One, reinforcement, whether positive or negative, is about increasing a desired behavior. Positive means adding something to increase the desired behavior. Negative means removing something to increase the desired behavior. Negative reinforcement examples. One, A classic example of negative reinforcement is the beeping noise your car makes when you haven't buckled your seatbelt. The car makes this beeping noise in order to increase the likelihood of you buckling your seatbelt. So buckling your seatbelt is the desired behavior. This is reinforced by removing the beeping sound when you buckle your seatbelt. So before the car makes the beeping noise, the desired behavior is putting on the seatbelt and after the beeping noise stops. The outcome is the person is more likely to buckle their seat belt to avoid the beeping sound. Number two, alarms serve as a a similar function. The desired behavior of an alarm is to wake you up. Turning off the alarm removes the alarm sound and increases the behavior of waking up. So first, before the alarm makes the noise, the desired behavior is waking up and turning off the alarm after the alarm stops making the noise. The outcome is the person will wake up in order to make the alarm stop. Sometimes we unintentionally reinforce behaviors without realizing we're doing so. Here's an example. Number three, a child throws a temper tantrum at the dinner table because she doesn't want to eat her dinner. The parents remove the child's dinner, negative reinforcement, to get the child to stop throwing a temper tantrum, the desired behavior. But doing so, it makes it more likely she will throw a temper tantrum in the future when she doesn't want something to eat. So first, before the child throws the temper tantrum, the desired behavior to stop the temper tantrum. After, the child stops throwing the temper tantrum when dinner is removed. The outcome, the child is more likely to throw a temper tantrum in the future when she doesn't want to eat something. Four, a final negative reinforcement example is nagging. A child's mom nags him to complete his chores, chores, the desired behavior. Before, chores are not completed and mom nags. The desired behavior is the child completing the chores. After, mom stops nagging and the child completes chores. The outcome is the child is more likely to complete their chores to avoid their mom nagging them. Thank you so much for listening. Remember, if you're studying for your exam, and looking for the best LMSW, LCSW, or MFT exam prep, please visit our website at therapistdevelopmentcenter.com to sign up. With a 95% pass rate, we offer the best study system on the market to help you pass your exam with confidence. Here at TDC, we're with you until you pass.